Is Star Stable planning to update this character or did they completely abandon him? Because his new model has been in the files for years but nothing has been done. So let's talk about him. Also, we're going to talk about the upcoming events, festivals, and just some other things that we're going to get in the upcoming updates. So as always, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you do, make sure to subscribe. It really means a lot and now let's get into it. So what character or NPC am I talking about? I'm talking about Justin Moreland. Justin Moreland is an NPC that's pretty integral to the main story of Yorvik and Star Stable and his model is pretty old. I just went to check on the Yorvikipedia and he is apparently 20 years old. What? Like I always thought he was like 40, maybe a little less. Like just look at his face. I just I was shocked when I like I just went to check it out and it's 20. That's why I was so confused when I saw his updated model because he looked so young. I'm just I I, I I'm shocked. I mean, he used to look even older, like he looks like he has gray hair. I mean, I know some people have gray hair when they're younger, like one of my friends has like a patch of hair that he's always had and it's gray, but like Justin, his overall appearance just, he does not look like a 20 year old to me. So anyway, let's go check out his updated appearance. Here he is. He looks absolutely fabulous. He really reminds me of a boy that has a race near Steve's farm. And I'm not talking about Steve. He's not a boy. He is a very good looking older gentleman. But yeah, the updated Justin looks... I mean, I'd say he looks pretty good. The only thing that's really throwing me off is that he looks much more his age. So it's kind of like, why are they putting this poor child in the game? His outfit looks pretty nice and up to date. And he's apparently been in the files for quite a while since at least April of 2022, which is so weird. Like, why are they not updating him? Like, they literally have him in the files. They have the updated character. And this one just looks so much better than the one that we have in game. But yeah, SSO just decided to not do it, I guess. Oh my gosh, and I just found a website where it shows the like diary or the journal of every character and on there it says that Justin is 19 and he's a Virgo. His birthday is August 30th. Maybe they updated it now or maybe he used to be 20 and he's 19 now, but like just look at his face. Does this look like a 19 to 20 year old to you? No. <laughs> so I don't get why they don't update him. But yeah, I guess that's just the SSO logic. Let's, let's not think about it too hard. But anyway, as I said, I also wanted to talk about some upcoming updates that we're going to get in the future. So this is the next stop in Jorvik picture. I have no idea if SSO will post this next stop in Jorvik today or tomorrow or when they're planning to add it, but I just wanted to talk about it since we can like basically kind of see what's going on. So as I talked about in one of my previous videos, I was kind of speculating that we're going to get a Western event for, you know, the summer event is going to be some sort of a Western festival. And I was right. I mean, all of the clues were there. So, so Star Stable said this about next week's update. You and your friends have been invited to Camp Western. Spend the summer of your dreams at Starshine Ranch. Like, I'm going to be honest, from the pictures, you can't really see much. So I'm just going to be guessing. But yeah, obviously, the first week we're going to get all of the festival stuff maybe some quests we're gonna get you know stores with different clothing and other items actually we also already have the two headers that are gonna be used in the next week's update the first one is this one and as you can see it's just two characters that are kind of looking for something they actually have new clothing which looks so pretty i especially like this beige one with flowers though it's really not my style i wish it was just a normal shirt or a sweater but it still looks so good and i feel like this is gonna be connected with the quest with the renegades 
updates that we're gonna get but i'm gonna talk a little bit more about that later and also we got another picture which is basically just josh lisa and her father and they actually have one of the eight new code color variations that we saw in the spoilers so it seems like this first week we're going to get eight new code color variations of some already existing breeds and just to fresh up your memory a little here are all of the code colors that we're going to get welcome to camp western july 5th carl and lisa invite you to spend the summer at starshine ranch get a taste of ranch life by helping out with taking care of the animals and errands once your chores are done venture out to explore the great wide wilderness who knows what you might encounter this will be a summer you will never forget want to kick off the adventure with a new friend there's eight new coat variations for the Belgian Warmblood, Welsh Pony, and Appaloosa. Each color is selected from requests we have seen in the community. Then the second week picture is this little arena, I don't even know, like a pan, a round pan. And it seems like we're gonna be doing circles in there. I wonder if we're gonna be able to lead our horses or like rein our horses is what I meant. Because a while ago, one of the game masters said that another person is working on this as they speak and that was a while ago so I wonder if this picture is indicating some sort of raining but again I'm not sure learning the ropes July 12th this week Starshine Ranch introduces lunging the ranch will have more chores for you to earn summer tokens prepare your saddlebags because there will be plenty of gear and even some flowers to bring with you on your escapades also, the next Horses of Jurvik race is going to be at the Starshine Ranch and you're going to be able to do it with the new Mustangs, the Appaloosas and some other more Western horses. And I wonder if this is going to be included in this like Western festival event, whatever. But anyway, here it is.
picture I think shows some sort of like celebrations in there. It's kind of hard to see but it does seem like there are some shops in there and obviously some like exchange shop so I'm definitely excited for that. Did I save any summer tokens? No I did not because I didn't really play and I don't have many. Communication is key. July 19th. For the past two weeks you've encountered a lot on your adventures into the wilderness. There can't be more, can there? Oh yes, there can. Saddle up and head out into the woods. You might find a little someone or two who needs help. If you give them some attention, these little creatures could be your new best friends. Race along the shoreline, July 26th. Is it really summer if you don't get to gallop along the beach? What if you want that feeling all year long? Fixed. The classical beach festival race and some beachy items will be permanently added to Fort Pinta's beach area. It is the last week of Western camp. The ranch will ensure you won't miss anything. Shuffled chores, even more gold, and back-to-back -back encounters will keep you on your toes. Magical horse rotation, Proteus and Sedna are back for five weeks. And the focus of the fourth week is going to be Fort Pinta Beach. I heard that there's not going to be a like a Fort Pinta like beach festival this year, which is kind of sad. But it was the same every year, but it was also kind of iconic. Like, but it seems like we'll still get some stuff in there. We got spoilers of some new NPCs that we're going to get in the near future, as well as some new items. One of the items was a bandana, and then also like I think some like notes, I don't even know. But it was basically titled like a renegade something. And there's also a bunch of pets and saddlebag items that indicate to some sort of renegades being in Jurvik. So I think it's gonna be like some renegade cowboys because two of the NPCs from the spoilers have bandanas and I believe those are gonna be the renegades. So yeah, here are the spoilers of the items, clothing, tack, pets, and all of the other things that we're going to get. Mm -hmm. 